Hey everybody, this is a video documentary, so to speak, of my very first Hotter Than Hell 100 race. Um, I call it a race, but for me it was just about finishing. I wanted to capture all of my memories on a video before I get too old and my, and my memories start to fade, so that's what this video is all about. The experience started the night before at the convention center. John and I went down to pick up my packet, and the packet includes your number and your chip for measuring your time. And they have all these booths set up selling everything from bicycles to water bottles to, to jerseys, etc. So that night we spent the night at Loring's house, but the next morning we were up bright and early packing. It was like a fishing trip. Tom and Dave got their bicycle tires aired up once we got there. And uh, there we are getting ready to start the race. Tom and Dave, and, and then there I am. It's kind of a, an important thing, big deal for me because this was the last time I'd get to ride with these two guys who I used to ride with every Saturday. When you look at the size of the, of the crowds, I'm zooming in so you can see the starting line here, and then the bicyclists go all the way back to the very end of that street. It's pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive to see that many bicycles in one place. There's somewhere between 12 and 14,000. You see everything from street bikes to tandem bicycles to recumbent bikes and saw one guy riding a unicycle. We skipped the 10 mile rest station and the 20 mile rest station even because they're just so crowded. But here's a picture of me looking back at the 20 mile rest station as I'm waiting for Tom and Dave because we got separated. Soon after the 20 mile rest station was where the 100k riders broke away from the 100 mile riders and uh, this video was taken there and then I took another video to say goodbye to Tom and Dave as I wouldn't see them for a long time. Yes, I gotta say, are we recording? Let's see, yep we are. Alright, we're here with uh, Tom, Kit, and up there we got Dave and I gotta tell you guys this is the honor of a lifetime to do the final ride with the Flying Frenchman. Yeah. As they as they ride as a group. The flying Frenchman. The flying Frenchman. No, nah, from then on it'll be the flying Frenchman. So we have Dave Bouchard and yeah. Tom Hildon are the two former not former cranks, uh, misplaced cranks. And we are here at uh, Randolph Road, uh, probably 20, 23 miles to do the hundred mile ride. And we're we're about to split off. So I wanted to say goodbye, Mr. Tom. Goodbye, kid. Sign goodbye, off. Safe. Thanks. Each rest stop was unique and organized by a different company or organization, and they all offered food, things like bananas and, and orange wedges and watermelon and pickles even, and pickle juice. Some of them had peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or, or saltine crackers with peanut butter and jelly. One of them even had bratwurst. All of it was um, stuff to keep you going during the race. At around the 50 mile mark, I was fortunate enough to meet up with Wally Barron and his girlfriend Yvonne and his sister Misty and brother-in-law Ryan Brown. And uh, those guys are biking machines and uh, they helped me make it all the way through. So it was somewhere after the 80 mile mark that Wally and I were, were riding trying to catch up to Yvonne because she got a head start and I looked up and I saw a little kid in a green shirt directing traffic and sure enough, it was little Mikey Tobito. Mateo was directing traffic and I looked up and then I saw, saw Alicia and Loring and John and they had driven out to meet me and uh, that, was a, that was a pretty nice treat. He doesn't pay us enough, though. So it was a good pick me up to see all my cheerleaders and uh, have Mateo come and drink all my Powerade. And, and after, after we spent about 10 minutes there visiting with everybody, we were back on the road again. At around the 90 mile mark, it was interesting, the brake station there had a big tub of ice. It was someone that had donated a trough and they filled it up with ice water. People were dunking their whole bodies in it. Most people were just dunking their, their heads in it. And you can see people, <laughs> by now people were tired and kind of spread out thin. Um, is it, what was interesting to see was the, the characters that you'd see. Here's a guy with the big old Santa Claus beard. And he was out there riding and, and then uh, they were, everybody was in there enjoying the shade, uh, having nice treats of, of watermelon or, or 
again, orange peels. There they are, swapping lies, telling stories of the ride. Here we've got all the volunteers serving up their pickles and their bananas and their orange slices. And, and there are people just enjoying that, getting ready to finish the last 10 miles of the ride. So here we are down to the last 10 miles, and I'm... And my brother Rob told me, and so did a lot of other people, that the last 10 or 15 miles would be the hardest. And sure enough, it was. There was it was really hot. It was about 100, over 100 degrees. And the wind, hot wind, was blowing in your face. And a lot of it was uphill. Every time you, you topped a hill, there would be another hill that you'd have to go up. And uh, But towards the very end, it was... And we had a really nice uh, downhill as we got closer and closer to Wichita Falls, the downtown again. There was a big, long downhill. We raced really fast, and that was really fun. We got up to about 30 miles an hour at one point. Pretty soon, you could see the buildings of downtown, and that's when you knew you were getting close, and, uh, and we made it all the way in. One of the neatest things, though, was uh, I was able to send people text messages and let them know where I was, and they were able to send me encouraging messages back. So here we'll look at some of those. So there you have it, 8 hours, 26 minutes, 101.39 miles on one side. The other side shows 6 hours and 29 minutes. That's the actual ride time. 102 degrees, 101.38 miles. We finished. Big news. Okay, so here are the final, final official results. I was, um, my overall time was 8 hours, 23 minutes, and 41 seconds. I was... 2,936th place out of 3,545 men doing the race and within my division which is 45 to 49 I'm at the very top of that division at the 49 I was 341st place out of 355 so I didn't break any records but I uh, had a great time and that is the end of this video presentation I hope you guys enjoyed it